This question asks us to solve for the output voltage uh, and we have uh, op amp network uh, that you can see here. Now it's actually a difference amplifier but suppose that you don't remember the equation for the output of a difference amplifier and you need to kind of solve it from scratch uh, then what would you do? Well let's work through the steps. So we need to give some names to the nodes at the negative and positive terminals. Uh, so I'm going to call Vn for negative and Vp for positive. Uh, and we work through our steps of analyzing a circuit. So step one, uh, check for negative feedback. And we have that here because we can see a 50k resistor that connects back into the negative terminal. So we have negative feedback. Uh, that means that the op amp is operating uh, correctly. Uh, we then assume a few things about uh, voltages and currents. So in particular, Vn is equal to Vp, uh, and also no current flows um, into the op amp inputs. Assume no current flows into the op amp inputs. All right. Uh, and then step three is uh, use KCL or KVL, basically whatever you want to do, uh, to analyze whatever makes the most sense given the circuit layout that you have. So if I look at this circuit, uh, I can see a strategy, which is that first I can analyze the voltage at the positive terminal, because that's a, a simple voltage divider network. Uh, and once I know that, then I will have a known voltage here at this node, uh, and then it's a straightforward application of uh, Kirchhoff's current law. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, so first, solve for the P. Uh, this is a voltage divider. So uh, we can pretty much write it straight away that uh, Vp will be our input voltage is 4 multiplied by the resistance over which the voltage is measured so that's the 20 kilo ohms um, divided by the sum of the resistors so the sum of the resistors is going to be 24 kilo ohms and if we get our calculator and type that one in we will get so 4 by 20 divided 24 is 3 and a third, so 3.333 volts. Now we can analyze uh, the other branch, um, so that's this portion of our circuit. Uh, given that we already know the voltage Vn, uh, we can just write uh, KCL there and substitute in our known voltage. So next, apply KCL at node Vn. Uh, so in this case, the current's leaving Vn minus two volts divided by 10,000. That's the left branch. Uh, currents leaving on the right branch would be Vn minus V out divided by 50,000. And no current goes into the op amp, so uh, that's no other terms are needed, and so we just have that equal to zero. All right, let's uh, simplify this a little bit. So I'm going to multiply everything by 50,000. So uh, 50,000 divide 10,000 is just going to leave me with 5 for the first term. 50,000 cancels with 50,000 on the denominator, so I will just get that numerator. And zero times 50,000 is still zero. We can collect some like terms. So I will have six Vn minus V naught minus 10 is equal to zero. And I can then substitute what I know about uh, Vn. So substitute Vn is equal to Vp is equal to 3.33333 volts. 
So I will substitute that in. That gives me 6 times 3.333 minus v0 minus 10 uh, is equal to 0. This will then give me bringing uh, v0 to the other side and just calculating all of these numbers. So 6 times 3.333 minus 10 is 10 is equal to v0. Uh, so written the normal way around, v0 is equal to 10 volts. Uh, so our analysis, this is fairly straightforward. Uh, it's basically we follow the same steps that we've been practicing with the other examples, but I just wanted to show you one where we have actual numbers instead of um, just variables to um, step through.